Thank you, Ambassador Bellamy, for giving me the floor this morning. Distinguished guests, leaders of our country, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to you all. It's my distinct honor and privilege to extend to you all, on behalf of the government of Rwanda, our warmest welcome, Murakazaneza Murisang. Karibuni, soyele bienvenu. Thank you for traveling here and visiting our beloved country, a land of the southern hills where God sleeps after spending the day all over the world. <laughs> I'm pleased to be part of a such distinguished panel, General Carter, Commander, U.S. Africa Command, His Excellency Bubaka Gausudiara, Special Representative of the Chairperson uh, of the Commission for Somalia, Mr. Carl Wyckoff, Deputy Assistant Secretary for African Affairs at the U.S. Department of State, and Ambassador Bellamy, Director of Africa Center for Strategic Studies. We are pleased to co-host this workshop with uh, our Africa Center colleagues. It's been a pleasure working with you all. It has helped us to build relationships with our security counterparts in Africa and in the United States. This workshop is a notable testimony of the desire to work collectively towards finding solutions to our shared problems given the globalized world we live in. It touches upon critical issues impacting our region and indeed Africa more broadly. East Africa's youth are our future and we mu must make sure that we pay attention to their needs and aspirations. It is of uh, special significance to discuss this issue of youth radicalization in a country that provides the most painful examples of the extent to which violent extremism can destroy a society. As a nation, we have been scared, scarred by profound social divisions and mass violence, culminating into the 1994 genocide of the Tutsi. Yet, the people of Rwanda never lost hope. We steadfastly worked to rebuild our broken nation, continuously demonstrating that the most daunting challenges can be overcome through bold ambition, determination, and perseverance. Within a short 17-year period, we have not only recovered and been successful in restoring the nation and our dignity, but we have also taken bold steps in lending a helping hand to our neighbors and friends in need who are still struggling to contain violent extremism all over Africa. With a particularly young population, Rwanda recognizes and continues to put youth at the core of its development agenda. Indeed, youth between 14 and 35 years are 40% of our population, and 61% of the labor force is under the age of 35. This trend is shared across East Africa. Drawing from our cultural practices, we have de developed homegrown solutions aimed at national reconciliation and ensuring that our youth do not feel disenfranchised. Central to this has been the creation of a sense of community strongly bound together by an identity founded on shared, shared values. This is strongly encouraged by our policy on family promotion Itorero, Ingando, Umuganda, national service, and encouraging volunteerism and civic education. I will count on my Rwandan colleagues and friends in this audience to translate later in the day 
what itorero, ingando, umuganda means. They don't have any translation because they are embedded and homegrown solution in our culture. Uh, I, don't, I don't think those people in the cubicle can really translate them. Youth have a voice through the National Youth Council and they are represented at all levels of leadership with seats being reserved for them in parliament at national and regional levels in addition to having a dedicated ministry focusing only on youth affairs and led by one of them. During a speech last month in Kampala, President Paul Kagame challenged East Africa youth, youth to be agents of positive change in our region. He called upon the youth to effectively participate in the political and economic processes in their countries. He challenged them, saying that we need a more empowered, entrepreneurial youth equipped with knowledge to address the issues of development and transform, transform our societies. President Kagame's call to action is one that resonates with our workshop this week and parallels with our goal of providing environments that enable our youth to thrive and resist violent extremism. This forum will provide an opportunity to discuss the positive alternatives to youth radicalization that we should strive to promote through our governments, businesses, civil society, organizations. Radicalization is a challenge for the East African region. Although it, 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 it's, uh, um, although it threatens um, our different countries differently, the underlying push and pull factors that lead to violent extremism among East Africa youth are often similar. We are here to share ideas and discuss best practices for countering youth radicalization. Our goal is to offer young people of Africa positive alternatives to violent extremism. As it, often, it is often said in our language, Again, I'm not sure these people will be able to translate. I will do the translation job for you. A stone that has been uncovered can no longer damage the who. I'm not too sure how many have understood. For those who are not familiar with the traditional farming techniques, I will further translate from English to English. by giving an analogy in a driving, and I'm sure everyone is familiar with driving here. A nail that has been uncovered on your driveway can no longer puncture your tire. Is this more clearer now? But I'd like to compliment this conventional wisdom. It is not enough to uncover the nail. If you, don't, you do not remove it, or drive carefully to avoid it, it will certainly puncture your tire. So my challenge and my call to this workshop today is to come up with actionable, mechanism, actionable mechanisms that can quickly translate the knowledge, commitment, and momentum that you will develop and build here in, uh, this week into actionable initiatives that will curb and stop the dangers of violent extremism in this region. It is on this note that I would like to declare this conference on behalf of the government of Rwanda officially open. Thank you very much.